Enter. Hey, Jerry the Peterson first question. from Moore. Ready, Jerry? Jerry's ready. What Oklahoma business refers to itself as Stillwater's jumping little juke joint? Let's go, Jess. Who is the current speaker? Who is the current speaker of the United States House of Representatives? Uh, Pelosi. Is one. What is the name of the spooky motel in Alfred Hitchcock's classic movie Psycho? Uh, Bates Bates motel. motel. Richard Roundtree, who passed away yesterday at the age of 81, starred as what famous private detective? Mickey Spillane. What is it called when you get the feeling you have done something before? Uh, Deja 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 Deja. What actor portrayed the TV characters Perry Mason and Robert Ironside? Uh, Mason. Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr. In what city will you find the headquarters for the Hershey Chocolate Company? Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hershey. Which actress made her film debut starring in the 1978 film Halloween? Uh, Curtis. Pat. What is the only planet not named after a Greek or a Roman god? Pluto. Earth. What two Major League Baseball teams will play in this year's World Series? The Diamondbacks and the Rangers. and uh, Rangers. That is correct, but we had passes, Jerry, in the tough time. Tough day. Jerry, you had it tough. Yeah, and I even gave you credit for Eskimo Joe's on number one, but we'll go over these. <laughs> okay. Tough day. You passed, and we have to come back to right. it, but uh, you threw it out there. Uh, yeah. That's the deal. But of course, as always, we have some nice little prizes for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Watershed Unlimited Car Wash. Membership to Watershed They're Car nice. Wash. And the Tomorrow Winchester I Drive play. Day. Family four pack of tickets at 6930 Southwestern. <laughs> showing those Rain creepy, Burr. scary Halloween Curtis. double features. Thanks for playing, Jerry. Thank you. Well, how'd you do with Jerry Curtis. this morning? A good, good player. Yeah, he knew some of those. Some he had to pass on. Let's go over them. What do you say? We what got through uh, all 10, at least, questions, but we had passes in there. What Oklahoma business refers to itself as Stillwater's jumping little juke joint? Stan Eskimo Clark Joe. and Eskimo Joe's. And I went ahead and gave it credit. You know, technically he passed and we had to come back to it later, but hey, he said Eskimo Joe's. Good enough for me. Who's the current speaker of the United States House of Representatives? Jerry is correct. Correct. Nobody. Nobody. Hello. Yeah. What's the name of the spooky motel in Alfred Hitchcock's classic Bates. movie Psycho? Jerry Tough questions it. today. You? Ooh, Halloween's coming. Bates Motel. Might have to watch that. Richard Roundtree, who passed away yesterday at the age of 81, starred as what famous private detective? Jerry passed on this one. It's Shaft. Shaft, John Shaft. I'm pretty sure he was in several sequels to that, too. What is it called when you get the feeling you've done something before? Deja vu. Deja vu. Right, Jerry. What actor portrayed the TV characters Perry Mason and Robert Ironside? Good for you. Raymond Burr is correct. In what city will you find the headquarters for the Hershey Chocolate Company? Yes, Hershey, Pennsylvania. If you've never been there before, you need to go. The whole town smells like chocolate. I'm not making that up. Which actress made her film debut starring in the 1978 film Curtis. Halloween? Ooh, the original and the best. Jamie Lee, Lee Curtis. Curtis. Jerry passed on that Jamie one. Lee. What's the only planet not named after a Greek or Roman god in our solar system? Earth. Earth. Way to go, Jerry. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what question. two Major League Baseball teams are going to be playing in this year's World Series? Well, since Arizona, the Diamondbacks, beat the Philadelphia Phillies last night, and the Texas Rangers had already clinched, mm, took seven games in both leagues, though. So, yeah, it's the Diamondbacks and the Rangers. Arizona taking on Texas. I Should am be a little good. Well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow morning is a Thursday morning. Yes. On Thursday mornings, we play every weekday morning at 7.10. Listen for the cue to call tomorrow morning, and we're going to play $3,000. Minute. Impossible. impossible. Tough day. No, but not impossible. Vincent Price. Breaking up with John Hyde on Evil. Oklahoma's greatest. Man, am I glad I didn't get in today? It would have been a bummer. Last mornings, every day. I got killed on those questions. K-O-M-A. Raymond Burr? Never heard that one before. Earth. Earth. Yeah, yeah. Seven year old grandson. Just hit Earth. Hit Earth, people. I think that dude had some serious help.
the kid. Hey! Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild one. All right, that's enough of that. Um, God, I had something interesting to talk about today. Uh, I sold a cup last night for nine ninety nine. Thought it was a pretty good deal for them. I couldn't find it. I looked and looked. It looked, and then it's like bingo, found it. So nine ninety nine plus shipping. Got my backpack all shipped out yesterday. It's um, I don't. I don't do very good on how to ship bigger items. I never charge enough money. So I think what I'm going to do from now on is go, oh, I'm going to I'm going to charge about this much. Yeah, and then I'm going to add $5 to it. Cuz I ended up spending $1.60 on the box and 16, you know, I got covered, but you know, eBay took 12% of that shipping, so What are you going to do? Well, the old NBA started last night. Got off to a rocky start for those Lakers. And then this morning I watched it and they go, oh, uh, the oldest guy in the league. And, you know, it's starting his 21st season or whatever. And it's like, he's like wine. And that made me think of what my Uncle Marcellus once said. This game is filled to the brim with unrealistic motherfuckers that think their, age, their ass is gonna age like wine. If you mean it gets better with age, it don't. If you mean it turns to vinegar, it does. They ain't got no old timers. Boxing ain't got no old timers, day. Butch, how many fights you think you got left in you anyway? One, maybe? sad thing is, if you was going to make it, you'd have made it by now. You come close, but you didn't make it. And I think a year from now, when you're kicking it in the Caribbean, you're going to realize yourself, you know, blah, 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 is you my, it apparently seems so, and uh, the beat goes on. What he didn't know is he was going to take all that money, bet it on himself, and then just beat the other guy to death. Uh, he didn't. He killed him. So, there you go. That's my Uncle Marcellus. Well, LeBron played 26 minutes. He's on load management. He's on load. He's on load management. You know LeBron. 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 He's on load management. So, whatever. And Anthony Davis didn't show up second half. Three close. Three close Davies. Now he's got a couple of titles. Now he just wants that another contract. Uh, KD went over six in the second half. Played. Played. He's been played. Didn't get to the free throw line either. Yeah. Glory days. When they pass you by. Glory days. Chris Paul kind of lit it up quite a bit for the Warriors last night, but in the end, they didn't win. So, uh, I think the Warriors are on the downhill slide. They're on the back end of it. They may have a good one good run left, whether or not they can do it. My thunder, blowing up my thunder. So, uh, Sawchuck should be back this week, and we're playing Kansas in Lawrence. At 11 o'clock, we've, you know, we haven't lost up there this decade. Uh, we haven't lost up there this century. Um, and sometimes we've gone up there and it's been kind of a tight, even though Kansas hadn't had much of a team, it's uh, been a tight fit. But uh, this year should be a little different, maybe. Because this year we bring something we haven't brought in the last couple times we've been up there. Oh, what's that? How about defense? Because Lincoln Riley never went up there and played any. At all. Yeah. Uh, we were, you know, we were down 10-0 at half last time. 
and because Lincoln Riley was too busy looking for another job. Couldn't believe that guy, but I'll tell you what, man. They are ready to run him out of town on a rail. And, you know, Lincoln, oh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. You know, had to miss a day for, had to miss my show because uh, I was a bit under the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the same thing at Oklahoma. He was a bit under the weather, missed his show, and, uh, what's going on? Uh, no, nothing like that. No, huh? Then right after OSU game, and we're not going to the Big 12 championship, Riley bails on us. Just never could put a defense together. Oh, uh, needed to get rid of his, needed to get rid of his coordinator. Thank God he took him with him. I don't know, they just never could tackle. They never did seem to be overly aggressive. And that was one of the problems when we always play Kansas, it'd be uh, fourth and four. And they put some receivers out there and we are standing 10 yards away. Fourth and four. Fourth and four, we're 10 yards away. Guy runs a five yard out, pinpointing, boom. Toss and catch. You know, it's terrible. Terrible defense. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna be up on a precedent this year. I don't know, Texas, Texas just seemed to blow them out. So I don't know how good they are. I don't really know how good we are. I mean, we're gonna have to go play on the road and, you know, I don't think we played that good at Cincinnati. We played good enough to win. Uh, you know, we got, we also had, you know, what, three interceptions. We got turnovers. So we didn't get any turnovers against UCF. UCF had their good quarterback. They had their quarterback back. And they played, they played great. They played exceptionally well. which is, you know, understandable. When you come to play OU, you're gonna play your best game. That's just, you know, I, I know y'all get tired of watching me do that. But you're gonna play your best game when you come play the Sooners. There's just no doubt about that. Um, let's listen to some Morning Animals, shall we? That's with some of the other guys. Um, but but yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm really excited. Well, that's there too. We, we the one thing we thought we would know about Dagnut when he was hired is because of his track record with the blue. You thought he'd be good at developing those young guys. I, I had no clue what it was going to look like as a whole, just because we hadn't seen him in any of these spots before in the NBA. Yeah. And, and coaching hires are very hard to make. But it, it just feels like I, I know that this is a message that every coach in the NBA, I imagine, is telling those young guys. But for whatever reason, it feels like Mark Dagnut gets through with them of like, look, if one element of your game is not hitting tonight, if you are not on shooting wise, Don't do shoot. not pack it in. Go rebound. Go affect the game defensively. Yeah. Move. Make good passes. Stuff like that. And I feel like that's something that uh, I, I, is it just a connection thing. I, I don't know what it is, but Daniel's thunder. coaching staff seems to do a very, very good me up. job. Almost a billion um, dollar arena. Young guys we're leaving. Spot mentally, where okay, if if you're bye -bye. in just a shooting slump for two weeks, right. Go rebound your ass off and help the team out. And that's something that uh, the Thunder have been pretty good at. Now there's going to be a different level of expectation, different level of spotlight on them. Not Here we go. Big road in. need to go and be a top three seed or anything like that. But uh, yeah, triple-double for Jokic in the first game of the year. Picking up where he left off. Denver beats the Lakers 119-107. to 107. And they got the ring. The Thunder's home opener opponent on Sunday afternoon at 2.30. Can't wait for that. Thunder play tonight. First game. Yeah, me seven either. o'clock at Chicago. Game one. And they go to Cleveland on Friday night for game hey, two. And then uh, back home Sunday. Roll it in, everybody. Rolling, 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 rolling. Arizona rolling. Diamondbacks. They beat the Phillies 42. Now it's Arizona against Texas mm. in a World no, Series man. that MLB did not want. That starts Friday. We are the Morning Animals. Here's some fantasy advice. It's the Twin Peaks Fantasy Football Stardom. Or Here we go. Tip of the week. Served up On by the Twin bike. Peaks, Peaks, Drinks, and Scenic Views. Good for you. Good for me. 
train. Yeah, I've had enough of that. And we're here. Another day, another 90 cents. Getting here a little bit early today, but you know, it's like, what, five minutes early, eight minutes early? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Tough day on Minute Impossible. Man. Richard Roundtree. Never even heard of Richard Roundtree. Raymond Burr. Stoney Curtis. I wonder if he'd have given me Curtis. What was her last name? You know? Um, gave him Hershey. Speaker of the House to me. We don't have one. Richard Roundtree. Eskimo Joe's. But I, you know, I did all right. Uh, the planet one, uh, Earth, Earth. Who named it Earth anyway? Who gave Earth its name? Is it the same person who gave all those other names to those planets? Who decided that? Galileo Galileo. I don't know. But one thing's for sure. It's a rough old cob. If you think it'll turn to wine, it'll age like fine wine, it won't. If you think it'll turn to vinegar, it does. <laughs> My Uncle Marcellus. Still waiting for that oak bedroom suit. Oak's nice. See you later, everybody.